ago, but it's now lesson 94. And uh, I thought I'd take a, a, another picture out of my, my sketchbook. Uh, I, I keep looking at these things and, and uh, finding things which, 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 I, which I enjoyed sketching. And I thought, if we, 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 we got a, a sort of another painting, that would be nice. And I might just keep looking. We'll see. The, the colours we're using today, winter blue red shade. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, no, it's not winter blue red shade. It's French ultramarine. Uh, Burnt Umber, Raw Sienna, and uh, a tissue of litter. Okay, so what I wanted to put, and, and that's the, the colours, but this is my sketchbook, it's only a tiny sketchbook, and there's all sorts of rubbish in there, you know, whatever it is. But I, I saw this one, and it's a, it's like a, a, a bridge with a, a building on top of it, in, in a place called Morique in France. Morique, nice name, yeah. And you can tell it's 1992. Well, I sketch this one. So it's, it's, I was doing some uh, some teaching in the uh, in the door, no the Loire Valley. This was around the Loire Valley, and I saw this and I thought, oh, that's lovely. Nice path coming around here, and some conifers just here. A nice arch under the under the building where the river goes through, and the bushes all around here, and bushes here, and bushes there, and a, and a pantile roof. And I thought, well, have a go at that. See how we go, shall we? Right, I think the first thing we'll do is, is move it out of the way. And uh, I'll put some water on the sky first, just clean water. Mind the house. Sort of take it down to the, the horizon. And down the side as well. Around this side of the building, I don't know, it's some kind of a, a tower, it might be a, a, a mill of some kind, I, I don't know, I can make out what it is, I only stopped for 10 minutes, so, uh, so I had a, 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 it was the view that attracted me, not, not, but it was the mill as well, but, uh, but not, what, not what they do with it, so that's as far as I, I could get on this, but, and I want to just paint the sky, it's, it's, it's just a lovely day, absolutely gorgeous it was. I don't, want, I don't want it busy in the sky, it's just, this is ultramarine by the way folks. I'm just taking it across there. And as I come down towards the, the horizon of course, the, 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 the colour loses its intensity, doesn't it? So we can lose that intensity if we come down there. Because uh, I'm working at 15 degrees, so the, uh, the, the the stuff is running towards me. So I'm just taking the well off the bottom there. Uh, I could, I might, look, I might start filling in if I do. Because it, I say I don't want to do any more. Put a bit of blue down here. The river flows underneath it. Right, that's a sky door. I'm, I'm not making a fussy sky or anything like that. It's, 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 that's it, folks. That's what you're getting. And I think we'll, we'll start to... Uh, Introduce some. I might. Oh, I might block some of this stuff in first in the foreground. Get the raw sienna cracking on this, and see what we've got down here. Let, let, let's let's take some of this white out of the way, shall we? Right. 
The Loire, Loire Valley is beautiful, by the way, folks. If, 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 if you haven't been, uh, there's one or two uh, people that uh, contacted me and said, uh, on, on the farmhouse they did in, in uh, Provence, it brought back memories for them because they, they, they spent some time down there, which, which is nice. I'm glad it did that because uh, pictures do tell a story, don't they? Now that's gone down there. I've put a bit more darker colour in there that bring it towards us. Or otherwise, it's just a flat colour and it's still up. We can't do that, so we've got to, we've got to do some some angling of the of the road. It's even darker now, I'll put some, put some like blue in I think. Down this end of the, the path, or the track or wherever it was. I can't remember that much. That's in 92. Uh, try to get somebody. It's 20, 30 years ago, isn't it? Blimey. I was a mere slip of a lad then. <laughs> yeah. 30 years ago. I was in 55. A mere lad. Not too worry. We've all got our problems, haven't we? I'll dry that off so I can get. And I've done one before that though. And I'll, I'll put a bit of stone colour on there. This is a stone, like a stone up air, area here. And it's stone around here as well. That's getting that done. Right, nice and dry. Let's take it stairs further. Right, so let's start at the back now and start working forward. There's some bushes here. There's one behind the wall there, and there's one in front of the wall there, and there's one which is is there's a bit of a bush there, and then one just to the side of it. We'll, we'll, we'll start building up. And I'll work left to right because I'm right-handed. Let's get some colours and uh, get a smaller brush for this. I got number six brush. Let's uh, see what I want with that brush. Uh, you think that cadmium yellow? Put some cadmium yellow in this, and, and some a touch of Windsor blue red here. Guess it gives, gives you nice greens. That does. We'll start start and put some of these some of this stuff in here. Well, the light today, folks, as you can see from the sketch, I'll show you the sketch again. The light is coming from the left because it's dark on this side of the building, isn't it? And dark under that there, and a shadow across there. So, so we know where the light's coming from. So we can start putting some of this, this greenery in. That's it, that loop. Right, have a look at our, our next. There's, a, there's a, a bit of a bush bush affair in here. Let's, make, let's put that in. That, that, that's, that's like a hedge thing all around the side there. We'll start making some hedge there, that's using the same cadmium yellow and the Windsor Blue Red shade. But in, in the varying quantities give you different greens, you see. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Now because we're close on this, there's not, not a lot of depth in it. In other words, you, you, you get distant landscapes and you get you, you lose its colour, don't it? But this is this is quite close to us, so we can we can have it nice and colourful. That'll be ragged around the edge. It's not uh, it's not tidy like that. The grass and that is it's creeping onto the actual road itself, so. So we're going, to, we're going to get this effect, aren't we? Let's 
putting in the bottom of that tree. Tighten it down a bit just here. Right, I'll leave that to dry a bit before I put the conifers in, so we'll, we'll concentrate on this side a bit and, and tidy up, shall we? Uh, I think we'll I'll, oh, I'll get, get this other tree in this at the back there. Let, let's sort that out first, and then, then we can see where we're going. This is winter blue red cheer again, and the and the cadmium yellow. Test your colour before you commit yourself, by the way. It's it's easy to put right on a void on a swab as opposed to doing it on the painting. That'll do. Uh, I'm, 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 I can't remember whether this was a brick building or, or, or a white tower. So what I'm going to do, because it, for contrast, I think I'll, I'll make it a white tower. And uh, there's the stone working can go on that. Uh, and then there'd be a pantal roof on. The way you tell them. Just... Yeah, that, that's, that's got the, got my line back on that building there, which I, which I, which I, I needed. It's important, that line. Burnt sienna is a lovely colour for this. So we'll give that a coat on, on, on top here like this. I must keep my head from going forward because I, I, I saw when I was editing this last time it uh, you got you got a grey hair in front, which isn't pleasant at all. A bit round this one here, and the chimney, of course. So that pantel stuff, bit of darkness to it, make it make it look a bit more. Bit more used. I've added a bit of blue into that colour now, just to take the colour down a bit. We can just just twist the brush onto there, and it'll. When you get there, it gets a bit di difficult, but you, you can do it, I'm sure you will. That'll do, and there'll be some down that side there, but you, you won't see much of it. Down on this thing here. I'll leave that. I'm going to start getting fiddling there. Right, and there's a... like a, a ridge on this one here. Let's put this ridge in here. I think the uh, the window cell will be a coloured one, won't it? Be a stone one like this. That this is rosy out of this. Put one on that one.
Right. Um, th there's a bit, quite a dark under there, as you can see on the sketch. I'll show you the sketch again. There, nice dark there, lovely dark. Uh, I'd like to put that in. It's, uh, I, I do like darks. I think that's, that's, that's dark enough. You know, it really jumped, jumps out of you, that one. I like that. Right. Now these windows were, were, weren't windows, they were, like, they were like shutter things. So I think we can put some brownie shutters in as well. So they seem to like that. They do, they, and, and the French do uh, like to shutter the windows. It must be because of the sunshine, you know, and it, it keeps it cooler in the house. So uh, we we'll want to change it for, because it's different. But we'll, 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 we'll shutter this up and see where we go. And this one. darker than that. So it, it was old, this is it's not, it, it, I don't think anybody's living in it, it's just old. Like that. I think that's what, what, what attracted me to it, because it was... Because it was nice and old. Of course, when I put the shadows in, there'll be, there'll be shadows and things like that, and I'll get some nice shadows under there and under that. Uh, right, I'll, I'll leave that for a bit. There'd be some greenery under there, but I put that greenery in before I forget. Oh, what green we want? Yeah, that'll do. Nice bit of greenery in here, like grassy stuff. This is coming down, that's where it's flowing through. And it's coming down to it there. dark in there too. That's better, links it to it. Right, we're coming on. Now we'll get some we'll get some more uh, these these nice bushes and stuff like that and bring it forward a bit. That's a, this is a nice one this side. Let's see what colour I fancy for this one. I think, well, well, before that, I'll, I'll do a nice one here. Th th this is a, be a nice colour. It's not, there's not much uh, blue in this, it's, uh, it's really yellowy. And in the roots, around the roots, that it'll be quite dark. So I'll put some darks in by the roots there. Down here. around that side. Mm. 
that'll do for that one. Now we'll do uh, this one here, which will do a, a nice light green one, would be nice on that. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to use some cadmium lemon with a bit of blue in this, and let's see what, see what, see if we get a nice, nice green on this. It, 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 the, the beauty of doing this is it, it varies your greens. They're not all looking the same. So we'll try this on, on, on this one here. Going up around here, you know, the, the, all these grasses and stuff like that, and it's nice to get a bit of, bit of greenery in here. Sketching the sun just there, lovely. Now we'll darken this side where it's not catching the sun. Down here. here to do put these bushes in next this side the various greens we'll just grab a green and put one in shall we spiky bit of it can be like a dodgy bit of grass really Lots of greens in this one, folks. I know you like greens. I bet you do. It's it's, it's the most difficult colour to, to, to deal with in in watercolour, I think, greens. Because there's so many different ones and you're trying to depict what you've seen but I'm, I'm trying to do this from memory, from a, a pencil, a pen sketch actually. So I'm trying to put it together from memory. So that that ain't easy. Not with a memory like mine. Darks in there. Winterville red shade and the cadmium yellow. Uh, and if you put a bit of burnt umber into that, that will take the colour down even further. And then um, you want a nice juicy dark dark green for these. So let, let's let's see how we go with them. And the the, the colour difference between there and there won't be hardly anything. So they'll they'll be very similar in in, in tone. Twiddle a bit on top of you and never on there, something like that. There's another one just here. I like that twiddle a bit on top. There. A bit on top of that one. There's another one here.
Yeah, they're very close together, but but the you get a perspective effect from the 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 conifer size. It's it's they're all the same size if you had them sideways on, but because they're going away from you, uh, they look they look smaller, but they're not. I'm just a good bit of the screen, so it's just a job. I would like this five. I don't like. I don't like even numbers. So there's five. There's this one here, which is. which is making about five. And of course it's slightly larger because it's, it's nearer, isn't it? Well, it looks larger, I should say. And it might be a nice idea if, if on the right hand side, a left hand side, sorry, where the sun is, we introduce a touch of touch of colour on some of this. And this is cadmium yellow, just to sort of as though the sun's catching there. Great help is cadmium yellow. It just to cover that dark there. You see, it takes that. It takes that flatness of the green flatness, because they're 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 like a little cylinder. These things, aren't they? Juicy dark in the, in the bottom there, if I can get it. Down here. Anchor other things. I'm shaping, I'm shaping this stroke to the the, the angle where the leaves come out at. So they look more like conifers as opposed to just flat blobs. I'm just letting that overlap that a bit. Right. They'll be right then. And it, it brings a nice balance from that side of the picture there. So that's balancing that up. And we, we, it was a bit lopsided before I painted those in. Now then, what do we do next? Uh, about some people. The people walking up the lane here, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Fred and Mabel.
I've stayed in some places when we, we've gone to these painting tours, you know. We stayed at the chateau for this one. Uh, but the, the chateau was 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 old, it was. I mean, really old. And it, it had never been repaired. And we were given a building at the side of it. And uh, our door had a, a, a part of a coat hanger, which you, you locked it from the outside and left the coat hanger on. So it, it, wasn't, it wasn't much good at all. But uh, it, it, was, it was okay, and uh, but I made a mistake one day of, of, of coming out and, and in my in my wisdom taking the taking the coat hanger with me outside, and I locked poor Carol inside. Unfortunately, we, she, I saw her just before we before we uh, went off. I oh, she'd been stuck in there all day. She was quite ha wasn't quite happy about. That. No sense of humour. I'm just going to put some darks on it and uh, like a bit, a bit of sort of change to the, this brickwork in, instead of just leaving it just raw like that. Might be a smaller brush for this thing because I want to get the, the, the brickwork right. And you can we can indicate it to you this sort of stuff in here. You might think it's fiddling, I suppose it is really. have a V-stone at the top there, don't they? Because that holds, that holds it all up, allegedly. Bit of twiddle on that. Coming out of that black area, that dark area. And that's That's holding that up. Just put a bit, a bit of dark in there. Like an oldie world of thing, which it is. I'm just putting some lines where the shutters are. Put quite a line under that as well. All do early. with this top one. I've got my head in the way, I'm trying to start, I keep forgetting the head, the head in front of the camera. There's a curve on the top of this. Be 
dark under there. Out just here, there's a window here, like similar to this one. So I better put that dark in there, and this one in here. That's quite shaded in there. The side of that chimney is quite dark as well. And I think it would help if I just restated one or two of these these pantiles and make them look a bit well, they're a bit more pantile. Uh, put them out here. It's big lad, big shoulders. Oh, this must have been the honeymoon. He's got a whole run there. Definitely. I'll put him. We'll put a nice top on. See, it's it's a uh, honeymoon, and she's she's smaller than him. I don't like that top. I can't see it. So I'll put her a blue top on, which I can see. How's that? A nice blue top. I see that. Go Abel. She's got the top on here. Well, that, well, that yellow's gone. It's, it's gone green. And the last thing I wanted was green. Not too worry. Not too worry. Put a bit more blue on. She's holding your hand like they do. trendy jeans on. I think the, the, these are ones from CNA, not not Debenhams. Off they go. Smaller brush and put my head on. No expense spared here. Here's Fred. You got some French in French blood in him, you can tell him you got dark hair, you know. As he wanders up the road. And she's got, she's got red hair, yeah. I keep forgetting me able to got red hair, don't you? And I think she's leaning her head towards him slightly, I like that. And they're talking about the price of grapes. There she is. Wandering off into the sunset. That's really romantic, that. Now what do I need now? 
how we need some shadows, don't we? we? We can't get away without shadows, can we? We've got our shadows in a picture like this. This is French ultramarine and burnt umber mixed together, which should give us a nice shadow colour. do uh, this side of this building will be in shade won't it here be careful with the figures because it's still dark it's still wet should say I seem to stop talking when I'm trying to do a straight line. Not that it makes any difference. So that's... And we'll get a nice, a nice shadow under, under here, under the eaves, just across there. Lovely. And a little touch under this, this touch here, this, this thing, and a bit under that one there. Which is nice, there'll be some under this here. It shines across there. A touch in this corner here. Touch in this corner here. Yes. Uh, there'll be some, some look, to be dark in there, won't there, down on there, where we. under the, the thing there. Uh, this will be. This will cast a shadow, and, and these trees will cast a shadow all across here, won't they? And that will cast a shadow across there, the building. This will cast a shadow, this, this little tree here, or little whatever it is, a bush. Probably get some shadows down here from these these shrubby things here. Shadows on this side here with the with the trees in shade down there. That dapple light on that bank. The conifers will, will well they'll, they'll be probably kiss, cast something like that down there, look. But not not any evidence because you can't see it. There'll probably be a little bit of sh uh, dark on there, like that, up the road, that tree is. Shadow, 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 shadow. What about on Fred and Mabel? Don't forget them too. Nice slinky shadows across there. Got some dark across here, that'd be nice. Put a bit of dark in this corner, it's nice. Could be something that's uh, this this off off camera if you like. Off off picture, say so it's like that, and then that will cast a shadow, wouldn't it? Let's say okay, but it'd be nice if we cast a shadow on the road, you know, like that. And this this water, doesn't it? It's a bit too bland, so we start to do something with it. I think it's it's going to be sort of twiddly like this as it flows down there. A, a, a single bird in that sky because it's, it's bland the sky we ought to put a bird in uh, a, a french a french crow oh he ho i 
What do we should put Fred? Fred Berry on. No, perhaps not. Perhaps not. That's taking it too far. Or perhaps he, uh, well, we'd like to go uh, so just here. Oh, I know, but, but to, to make three figures, wouldn't it be to pick a figure just by the draw the outs outside the picture, wouldn't it? What about our little figure stood there? Just to, uh, I'm going to put a gouache one in. I'll try and, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fiddling now. This is not me. I don't do with fiddle. But I just thought another little figure in there might might just give us a give us a touch of balance in here in a white dress. Waving to him. Hello there. Sacre bleu. Whatever they say. I'll put a, a, a pale colour head on. A bit small. I'll put some legs in as well. She is. She's waving to him. Come and buy me grapes. I've got a B and B here. Oh, they call them jeets over there. I've got a jeet here. If you want to stay.